Jacques Maritain was born in Paris in 1882, the son of Paul Maritain, a prominent lawyer, and jean Vier Favre. His mother's father, Jules, was an important French statesman. Jacques studied at the Lycée Henri IV and at the Sorbonne, where he graduated with degrees in philosophy and later the natural sciences. While at the Sorbonne, he met Raisa Umensov, a fellow student. She was the daughter of Russian Jewish immigrants. Jacques and Raisa shared a dark and depressing view of the world and of life, and they actually made a vow to commit suicide together within a year if they failed to find any authentic meaning and purpose in life, anything worth living for. One of Jacques' friends, a poet by the name of Charles Piguet, invited them to attend a lecture by the philosopher Henri Bergson, an atheist. The impact of Bergson's written works was so profound that the couple abandoned their thoughts of suicide. Jacques and Raisa married in 1904. Before long, in 1906, through the influence of their friend and writer Leon Blois, both were baptized in the Roman Catholic Church, and their lives were never again the same. When he began to study the writings of Thomas Aquinas, Jacques moved beyond the thought of Bergson, and in 1912, Maritain became professor of philosophy at the Lycée Stanislaus. Two years later, he was named assistant professor at the Institut Catholique in Paris, where he taught for the next 25 years. Maritain's earliest writings dealt with philosophy, for the most part defending Catholic thought, especially the philosophy of Thomas Aquinas. But by the late 1920s, he began to turn his attention to social issues and focused his attention on the principles of a liberal Christian humanism and the defense of natural human rights. Over the years, he would publish on a vast array of topics, in addition to Aquinas, religion and culture, and Christian philosophy. He would also think, write, and teach about science, epistemology, and political philosophy. His views on human rights and politics were especially influential in Latin America. Every year, Maritain came to lecture at the Institute of Medieval Studies in Toronto. When the Second World War broke out in 1939, the Maritains moved to the United States, where Jacques taught at both Princeton University and at Columbia. Maritain remained in the United States throughout the war and was active in the war effort, recording broadcasts aimed at occupied France for the Voice of America. Following the liberation of France in the summer of 1944, he was named French ambassador to the Vatican, a position he held for four years. He was also actively involved in drafting the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which was adopted in 1948. That spring, Maritain returned to Princeton as Professor Emeritus, though he also lectured at a number of other American universities, including the University of Notre Dame and the University of Chicago. He frequently returned to France to give short courses in philosophy. In 1960, Jacques and Raisa returned to France. Raisa died later that year. Jacques moved to Toulouse and chose to live with the Little Brothers of Jesus, a Catholic religious order which he eventually petitioned to join. He died there in Toulouse on April 28, 1973. He is buried in France alongside Raisa in the town of Colchard. When Raisa was buried 13 years earlier, Maritain had their shared tombstone engraved with these words, Raisa Maritain and Jacques.